a 1.8 turbo AWD engine, intermittent secondary air, uh, incorrect flow or insufficient flow. I've showed before where there's the uh, secondary air relay, you take the relay out and you bridge the two contacts, power and the load side, and then you should get the uh, pump working. So you can do that. The problem is when you run the vehicle and you pull the relay, uh, it goes into a, like a limp mode where it ignores any type of secondary air, air and anything else. So you don't want to pull it out when the engine's running. What you can do is take a power wire, hook it into the harness plug, the power side of the air pump. And then whenever you give this jumper wire power, the uh, air pump will run. And what you want to do is... Uh, hook a vacuum pump to the combi valve so we'll just take the vacuum hose off of the valve sometimes you get really brittle you might have to replace it You got your vacuum pump attached to the combi valve or diverter valve, whatever you want to call it. And when you pump it up, you should actually be hearing exhaust pulses. I don't hear any exhaust pulses. To further uh, make sure to hear that you hear it. Okay, actually, there are some pulses. You can close the valve and the noise is gone, the gurgling is gone. Pump it up again. So the diverter valve does open up. With it, now that it's open, you wanna activate the air pump and you wanna watch your short-term fuel trim. See how it's cycling right now? Once you add more air into the exhaust, it's gonna go super lean in the exhaust and then these numbers will go super rich, okay? So I'm just going to touch it to positive. Air pump is running. You cannot hear it, but it's running. And you can see 20%, 22. It had to add 25% of more fuel because of the extra air. And now it's coming back down because the pump is off. Now it's going to stabilize plus or minus 6 again um, in the normal area. So as you can see, as far as the system goes right now, it seems to be working correctly. It could very well be that this diverter valve sometimes does not open and then the air pump can't force air into the exhaust system. And then the what the computer is looking for is those high positive numbers. The fact that it has to add all that extra fuel, even though the engine is not really rich because it's air is being added after the exhaust or after the cylinders uh, and you can see right now it's minus 10 again it's just fluctuating because it's just learning um, depending on the exhaust the air leak that we made so right now with the diverter open that in itself can cause air to get into the exhaust and then the computer has to richen for it uh, and again when uh, running the air pump with the diverter activated. The air pump is running. 19, 21%, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 25. So like I said, uh, with the system working as it should right now, it's kind of difficult to say what is causing the issue. Uh, but that's what you got to do is check one component at a time. In all likelihood, what's happening is that the diverter valve is sometimes sticking. It could also be the vacuum solenoid that controls vacuum to the diverter valve. Uh, sometimes the hoses under here, they get kinked or they leak. So it's just a matter of checking the system one, one component at a time and you'll find the problem. And if not, then you have to wait until 
it becomes a hard fault where it, it happens all the time. It'll be easier to find at that point. And just so you can see what I did, just some long jumper cables and a piece of mechanics wire. You can use a bare paper clip and just stick it in where the power wire is. You have to be careful. The brown one is ground. If you accidentally stick this into the brown wire and then touch positive to it, this wire is going to go up in smoke. So you stick it in, I think that's red and white or red and yellow. Uh, you stick it in there, make sure it gets good contact and then touch it to battery positive. Maybe do that uh, when the engine's off, that way there's a better chance of you hearing the pump. Uh, and like I said, that's the way to, to most accurately, accurately check the system is with the engine running, diverter valve open and run the pump so that it forces air into the exhaust. If you don't see any huge number changes in your short term fuel trim, then uh, there's plugged passages, uh, air is not getting into the exhaust. Be it the diverter valve or the uh, cylinder head is plugged up with carbon. Okay, do output tests. that purge valve. Clicking. Second air solenoid. Second air pump. Not, don't have to check the rest. 